Good morning, happy Wednesday. Welcome back to the weekly vlog. How are you all doing? Hope you're doing well. It is bright and early. It is, what time is it? It is 4.51 a.m. And we're going to work. Do you ever get that feeling when you're just drinking water and you just never like fulfill the first? That's what I've got right now. I just can't like fulfill it. We are heading to work and I've got some roster changes to share with you. So this week I've changed all my flights. Today we were supposed to be going to Dusseldorf and I've swapped it. And on Saturday, I was supposed to be going to Munich and I've swapped it. How did we get here? Let me tell you. So I was very set on going to Dusseldorf. I was fine with it. I had my little routine that I was gonna do. We're okay. Then I started stalking my friends' rosters because we have an app where you can see everyone's rosters. So I was stalking some friends' rosters and there is one little beauty that I stalked and we had like the same block of days on different flights. So I was like, let me see if I can get on a flight. It was a little bit creepy, I know. I'm aware she knows about it. It's okay. I sent the swaps and instantly someone accepted. So now I'm going to Glasgow. I'm very excited to go to Scotland. It's been years since I was there. Even though it's literally up the road from where I live at home, it's not too far. I just never really go. And I don't know why, because I love it there. Wow, weird vomit. I don't think she's ever been on the vlogs. No, because when we go out, I never actually vlog. Don't know why. We're not gonna see her on the layover because she is from Scotland. So she's going home to see her family. But I get to spend seven and a half hours each way with her and I'm here for it. I'm so excited to see her, it's been so long. And I know she watched this. Hello babe, how are you doing? Um, I'm also excited because where the hotel is, it's next to like a shopping area and uh, there's a Primark there. Primark call pending, yes, I'm very excited to go. Mainly to go get some tights for work because all my tights have holes in and I need to stock up. It's been a long time since we went to Primark easily over six months so we need to go back and what else i was looking around on the map i was doing some little map shopping so there's loads of little shops around there hopefully the weather is like on my side because i've obviously packed summer clothes um i've not packed winter or rainy clothes so if it's raining or cold we ain't going out we'll have to see how that goes but yes i'm very excited i'm here for it the flight is overbooked I just need to pack you up actually. However, I let's go in the kitchen because I meal prepped and I want to show you what I'm taking on my flight. Excuse anything you may see in the background. Oh, this is where like every colour lighting in my apartment changes. And now we're blue, hello. Oh, that's a bit better, isn't it? We'll keep, we'll keep you there. So, on the food train, this is my breakfast as in right now. It's not fully breakfast. And then I've got my little food bag of food ready to take with me on the flight. So what am I gonna eat today? I've got two boiled eggs and a sauce pot of, was it teriyaki sauce? I think it's teriyaki sauce. I've got four rice cakes and an avocado. That's for the breakfast and then lunch on the flight i have this that i made this is what i made earlier um it is literally rice veg and chicken and then this little sauce in here goes on top and the best part is i can literally take this into work change the container put it in a container that we have in work to heat up food and i can heat it up and then if i do get peckish still why is this not going on i have a little hand soup also, these containers are fabulous. I don't know if you can see it, but they compact flat. So once I'm finished, it doesn't take up space in my bag, which is everything that we need because we're going to the UK, meaning we're gonna buy a lot. Right, that's food prep done for the flight. My little bag. It's literally just an m &S one that I found ages ago. I'm gonna pack everything up, make sure I pack my lipsticks got my phone and this is for the road I'm gonna have that yeah right should we get going I need to get some batteries as well they're charging right I'll see you when we get there this room is so loud 
Wow, okay. But we made it. We're in Glasgow. You can probably hear every noise going on outside. I don't know how to get it to stop. I've closed the window and you can still hear everything. Not cool. However, it is now 2.35 p.m. local time and I'm gonna head out, I'm gonna go to the shop. It's a really nice day outside so I thought it'd be a nice idea to go walk down the shop, go get some food, maybe stop into Primark like we said and then come back and figure out the rest of the day. I'm hoping to only be out for like an hour and a half. It's not too far away. The vlog just went live, so my weekly vlog just went live for last week when you're watching this. It was when I went to, when I went to San Francisco. I don't know what else to tell you. The flight was fine. It was a mixture of emotions. It was one of those flights. It's done. It's dusted. I've got a story to tell another day. I'm going to head out. I'm going to go and get some shopping. I'm not going to take my camera with me because I've only got my small bag. So you're going to stay here. But I might film some clips on my phone. So if you see anything, it's from my phone. But I'll show you what I get when I get back anyway. I always do. Right. Let's head out and let's go and do some shopping. I'm not even gonna lie, you need to just excuse the chaos in the background, the chaos in the noise that's going on in this room, and the chaos of me drinking a monster. As you can tell, I'm back. I don't know what is going on, right? But Primark, what is wrong? I see all the ads, I see all the influencers' hauls, I see all the nice clothes. I go, I see nothing. Not even a nice t-shirt to buy, to wear over my gym clothes. Nothing, not cool. But I did stop into Quiz and I picked up some dresses. I'd class these as like brunch dresses, fancy night out dresses, cocktails with the girls dresses. But this dress is just a casual dress. <laughs> so I picked up a denim dress, just a little mini denim dress that was, I don't know how much that was actually. I don't know. Got a size 10 if anyone's interested. All the dresses are size 10. I don't know if I showed them. If I've got a picture or a video, I'll put it in over whatever I'm talking about at the time. And then I picked up three new dresses. They're actually play suits. And then I'm actually doing this to avoid going to the gym right now. This is the first one I picked up. It is all tangled. Give me one second. So it's like this and it like ruffles at the front and it's got the cross on the back. It is a play suit, they're all play suits which is beautiful. I love the colours actually. A bit of plink, pink, plink, pink and blue action. And then in the same kind of style, it's just not crossed at the back, I got this one which again ruffles at the front. It's like a, a washed light blue purple colour. I've definitely got a picture in this one or a video, so I'll be able to show you that. But I love how soft they are. They're like a silk flavor. What is wrong with me? They're like a silk feel. And then this one is my favorite. This one is like this, and then this kind of ties around under your bust. It's like a ruffled at the front, and then obviously the same type of bottom on the back. I love them all. The reason I bought them, I will say, is I don't have any like fancy clothes like that I'm happy to go out in or like a little bit over the top, a little bit more me. Like I've got so many baggy clothes and like baggy dresses and flowy dresses. Don't get me wrong, they're flowy, but like the, the tight on like the top half. So yeah, that's why I picked them up. I just want to get more into my new girl era basically. So I treated myself. That is literally all I picked up. And then I stopped off in Tesco. I picked up a cottage pie for tomorrow's flight so that I can heat it up on the flight. And some chicken and a granola yogurt thing for in the morning. And obviously the monster that I've just drank or still drinking to keep me going because I'm shattered. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is currently 5.35. I'm gonna head to the gym. I know who is this girl because if you can't tell my eyes are closing right now <laughs> I'm tired um, but I'm gonna go get it done get it dusted hopefully the PT is happy with me we're gonna head out the door again we're gonna go find the gym we're gonna get this done this is gonna take me so long and I don't know how good the gym is in this hotel and it's a barbell workout so hopefully 
there is a barbell. If not, I'm gonna have to wing it and try to figure out something else that I can do. The white monster is my favorite. Also, obviously zero sugar, but it's so nice. When transits, going off to different places, different planets. Got your aura past me by losing balance. What if we were out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life. You like the drive, get down and dirty. You act like the bad guy. You want some love, you like when you feel like calling a midnight. good morning my beautiful people happy thursday and i'm ready to go home i woke up about half six this morning potted about for a bit and then i went to the gym did my cardio for the day and now i'm here and we're going back the hair obviously needs washing right now, so we're gonna do that possibly when we get back. No, we will, because I've got a flight. This is so strange because I don't have to end the video because you're coming home with me. Yeah, and I still have to get used to this whole weekly vlogger thing. It is now 11.40 a.m. and we're heading back. The flight is full and it's gonna be a long day flight. I land back, I think it's like 1 a.m. So it is a long day. It's okay, it's all part of the job. I've also just like fully packed my bag. And now I'm going through all my liquids Ooh. that I need to go through. Cabin bag to make sure I've got all my liquids out because we all know the UK is very strict with liquids. I'm packing them all into my suitcase because I don't think I'm going to need them. The only thing I really need on this flight is powder and lipstick just to top up my face. I also got asked recently, let me show you, what I use to try and stay hydrated. And it's this on flights. A facial mist with aloe, sage and orange blossom. I bought it in Sephora. Best thing ever. I would recommend. I want to get a new one because I'm nearly out. Well, I'm not. I'm like halfway through. But I swear by it. I always spritz it on my face just to keep the moisture going because planes are very drying, if you didn't know. They are. Anyway, I'm going to have to sit on my suitcase because I've got a lot of clothes in there now. And then pack up the rest of this. And then we're done. So... Let's go home. Good morning. Happy Friday. That was so loud. I'm sorry about that. Is it Friday today? I don't actually know. I think it's Friday. Anyway, I say morning. It's nearly one o'clock. And I'm just having my breakfast. Let me just balance you up. Nothing embarrassing in the background. I do have clothes on. I've got to do clothes on. Um, but I just made my breakfast. I made scrambled eggs on toast with some ketchup. And the reason I'm eating it at this time is because we were delayed yesterday. So, what happened? We were supposed to land at half midnight, one o'clock. Coming into the bar, we were a little bit delayed anyway, just weather and stuff. And then we were, what's it called? Coming down to the runway. And he was like, cabin crew prepare for landing. So we got ready to land and then we shot back off. So we had a rejected landing or a go around, whatever you want to call it. And it was because there was an aircraft on the runway. Yeah, which is kind of a little bit scary, but it's okay. We ended up landing at half an hour later. So we survived, we're all good, but that did mean we were late and I didn't get home until half three this morning. And I was supposed to be home about half one, two o'clock. So I ended up treating myself to a little sleep in, even though I'm probably going to screw myself over tonight. Because I have work tomorrow. But we'll talk about that later. I have a lot to do today. I need to wash my uniform. I need to unpack my bag, pack my bag again for work tomorrow. I need to go to the gym. I need to eat and do all that fun stuff. And also clean the apartment. And go to bed about nine o'clock. So I've got to do all that in eight hours. I can do that, that's fine. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat my breakfast, eat my yogurt. I've got half a protein strawberry yogurt from Arla, this one. I know you can get them in the UK and I found them in Dubai. I really like them. I did get um, very offended though when I was in Glasgow because I seen how much cheaper they were than they are in Dubai, which 
a little bit annoying, but it's okay. We, we work on it, it's fine. Anyway, it's breakfast time. I'm gonna go eat this. I've got my rice cooker for my lunch later. I'm like semi prepping my food for tomorrow as well um, on the flight. My eggs are so blonde. I literally just did them the fastest way possible. Good though, it's food. It's so weird being back on my small camera, but I'm on my small camera. So happy Saturday, is it? I don't actually know what day it is. Yeah, it's Saturday. And it is 4.25 a.m. We are ready to go to work, but this flight is so exciting. I'm headed to Manchester, which means I get to see the family. And if you rewind like 30 seconds ago, or like 10 seconds ago, I said it was Saturday, which means the whole family's off. So I'm going to see everybody. And it's also a late birthday for my sister, whose birthday was on Wednesday the 19th. Whenever that was, I don't know. So I decided last minute to not take my big camera, take the little one, be a little bit more discreet, get the little camera back out again. We're not quite zoomed in yet, but it's gonna be a bit zoomed in. It's okay, we're gonna get used to it. We're gonna just switch between the two cameras on these vlogs now, because I do take my big camera with me on layovers, and it's a lot of space and it's quite heavy. So I'm debating whether to just switch back to my little camera for my layovers, like when I'm away and then when I'm in Dubai or like somewhere for a long time where I know I'm gonna go out and explore and all that fun stuff, I'll take my big camera. But yeah, that is just a thought process that's going through my head right now. What are we doing? So yesterday I didn't actually speak to you, I don't think. I did film a little bit, didn't speak much though. I got back from, oh, someone just sent me Bangkok. Wait, give me a second. What flight do I have and do I wanna swap it? Um, 22nd. Ooh, Singapore or Bangkok? Ooh. I'm gonna keep Singapore. Oh, but then I could go and get like... Mm. No. We're gonna keep Singapore. Yeah, I'm keeping Singapore. Uh, sorry about that, a little bit distracted. We're just getting swaps through at like half four in the morning. I fell asleep at like 10 p.m. last night. Woke up at half three this morning. So that is really good going for this time because I was stressed and thinking that I'm not going to be able to sleep. It's going to be the worst flight of my life, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to get there. I've got a full day's worth of activities planned and I'm going to feel like crap. But we're doing all right. We're fine. Also, this is like a proper side note and... Ow, this is like really hurt my finger. Don't freak me out in the comments with your, your voodoo crap and your witchery and all that stuff. I've already Googled it. I'm the biggest, like conspiracy spiritually person in the world there is a pigeon on my balcony and it's been there since like three o'clock yesterday afternoon and it's still there now it's it's moving around so it's alive and it's like walking around but it's been there the whole time i'm not even lying it's still there now i feel like you're gonna say i'm lying so i will show you in a minute but what the, what the frick like can someone like send their little messenger away Stop stalking me. <laughs> so yeah, that was everything done. I'm now sorted actually. I'm not gonna take my laptop. I'm just gonna take my iPad with me. Oh, this is like really hard to do. There we go. So let's see how we're, we're on the, the, the shaky setting. You can see all the stuff in the background. Let's see if I can show you, the beard is still there. Where can I put my stuff? I've just got like a handful of crap. Let me put it there a sec. I need to leave in like 10 minutes, but I'm ready. I just need to pack it. So, look at the bed. Is it still there? It is. Like, you obviously can't see it. Can you see it? No, I don't think you can. And I don't want to open it, but it is there. It's, you can kind of see the shadow of it. So that's freaking me out a little bit. Hopefully it's gone by the time I get back. It is alive because I've just seen it move. So yes, we are gonna pack up, get everything ready. I've got about 10 minutes before I need to leave. And we're gonna head to Manchester. Side note, I'm not from Manchester. We just fly to Manchester and where I'm from, near Liverpool, it's about 45 minutes away. So it's the closest flight we do where I can go home and see the family. So that's why I'm not from Manchester. I'm from Liverpool. We're gonna go see the family, we're gonna go out have some nice food, spend some time with my sister for her birthday, a little late celebration. So, let's get going. 
I made it to the hotel. I'm in the bathroom. I'm waiting for the family to arrive. It is currently 1.15. Doing very well for time and I've just got dressed. It's raining, by the way. So I've got like a shacket on. I am leggings and my new shoes. And it goes so well. I don't really know how I can show you. Can you see that? Not really. Bam! <laughs> We're about to crop you in a bit so we're a bit more stable and we're going to head out. I have no idea where we're going, what we're doing. I just know we're going for food at some point. Very excited for food. Uh, but yeah, let me show you the outside weather of Manchester because it's not nice. Also, this room is very dark. So, this is gloomy Manchester. Grey skies. Rain on the floor. Beautiful view. Lighten, hello Lighten. I love wearing this colour. I think it just goes so well with my hair. Might just be big headed of me to say that. But don't really care. It's fine. Also got the Fenty lip glow something or other. What's it called? Fenty glow. I knew it was something glow. This one that on and I've got my other jacket to wear because it's a little bit nippy outside but yeah we're ready to go so let's just wait for them to text me to tell me they're here thank you I got my pretzel <laughs> why do I want this so much oh my god Clara oh that's cute that is so cute Clara <laughs> Why I like I it. That? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I like mine. I like that one more. Okay, so I wanted harvest. I like the lid though. The lid's oh, they're very pretty. Which spell? Oh, all right. It's not like bam. I'm so excited. Follow it. Back in the room they've just left and i'm here it is currently 7 p.m and i'm done for the day we ended up going into manchester city center to the arndale did a bit of walk around went for a chinese down in chinatown the best chinese i think i've ever had it was definitely the cheap meal of the week <laughs> the whole day is a cheap day i'm not gonna lie it started off really good but we're not finishing it really good so it's fine anyway now i'm back i've got some little snacks to snack on i'll show you those later i go have a bath relax a little bit get my pajamas on and just chill i've got not much to do i need to obviously do some admin work i don't know what i need to do i do need to stay awake that is the protocol for today we need to stay awake until at least like 9 p.m i think i can do it it's not that far really so this is obviously not the best angle but we're dealing with it so weird on my small camera again i do enjoy having my small camera it takes up so much less space and it's so light compared to my big one so let me know how you feel about this little section of the vlog is it too shaky are we fine with it because if it's fine i might take my little camera on my layovers and just deal with a little bit of shake it's because the stabilization is not the buzz it is really good but it cuts in to the frame a lot, so that's why I don't really want to use it. And that's also why I bought a new camera, so I get a wider view. But yeah, let me know how you think about that. Anyway, I'm going to go have a bath, 
there's a massive bath and I'm so excited. It's like the deepest bath I think I've ever seen. I'm so excited. Also, sorry I didn't really film much while I was out. It's a Saturday afternoon. It's Manchester City Centre. It's insanely busy. Not about that life. Sorry, not sorry. Anyway, peace out. Good morning. Happy Sunday. It's bright and early. <laughs> well, it's not. I think it's like half eight. I woke up about half six and I just lied here for a little bit. I'm still in Manchester, if you haven't realised. Got my breakfast. I ended up buying something in the garage before we got back to the hotel yesterday. So, do you want to see what's for breakfast? Oh, why did I put it so far away? Ugh. So, for breakfast, Matthew. <laughs> So for breakfast today, we have a breakfast drink from Fuel, this one, I then have my trusty Activia Gut Health Vanilla Yogurt, that one, and then I've got two bananas, which look like they've seen better days. Do you know what, I've got a question to ask actually, what type of pillow person are you? Are you these type of pillows where you lie on them and they just disappear into non-existence? Or are you like a firm, firm, firm pillow person? I'm more of a firm pillow per- I can't even speak. Firm pillow person. And just have one. But at the minute I'm currently sat on- I'm not sat. I'm lying on four pillows and I'm flat as the day was made. Anyway, I've got about an hour or so before I need to get ready. And then we're heading back to Dubai. I'm working in the lounge again today. I'm very excited. It's gonna be very busy, but I'm here for it. I love it. This is like the best angle. <laughs> um, yeah, so it is a day flight and it's overbooked. So it's gonna be a busy flight, but that means it's gonna go fast. And I think it's gonna be about six and a half hours. It's summer, isn't it? So it goes faster. I was supposed to be working in the galley. But the girl who was working on the lounge today came over and she was like, will you please swap positions with me? And I was like, why? She's like, I don't think I'm going to be able to like handle how busy it's going to be because it's busy. It gets very busy in the lounge on board. And it's very, in. how do I say this? It can be very intimidating sometimes because it's a lot of people and it's a small space and you can't have a lot of people in the lounge. Um, and then trying to control the noise and monitor the alcohol consumption and all that fun stuff is not the easiest when it's not your people. So because it's a UK flight and I'm technically from here, it's a lot easier for me to be able to do it and to be able to be like, right, come on, bring the volume down a little bit. <laughs> so I said yes, I'll happily swap with her. So that's why I'm in the lounge today. We're ready. We're done. We're going home. Well, back to Dubai. Home. Second home. This is home. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> I'm packed. I'm ready to go. I think I've got everything. Let's hope. And we're going back to Dubai. So, it is Sunday, so that is going to be the end of the vlog. I hope you have enjoyed. Do give it a like and subscribe. Show it some love. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.